All right, what's up guys? I'm going to be pre-ordering the digital deluxe edition of Sonic Origins. Um, I redeemed the, uh, well, I redeemed a Nintendo eShop card just now. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you guys that whole process because, well, one, I didn't record it, and two, like, you know, you guys would be able to figure out where I lived if I recorded that, so I definitely don't want to record that. Um, anyway, so I'm about to pre-order Sonic Origins. Gonna show you guys the uh, eShop, like, pictures. I don't know why it's blurry and stuff. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I believe these are the images I went over from Tails channel. Or these are on the official website. I can't remember for the life of me, but, um... I'm not gonna like analyze them because I already did that, but just kind of going through these. I like this one with mirror mode. That's the thing I'm, mirror mode and boss rush. Those are the modes I'm looking forward to the most. And then the Sonic CD opening. Yeah, this is on the website. And this screenshot of Ice Cap, I believe this is also on the website. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to pre-order this. I like the color scheme they have for this page too. And I actually had this on my wish list. So, yep, I'm going to redeem some points. Because I didn't have enough before. And do I, do I still not have enough? Oh, no, I got it. I had enough. I, I was scared for a second there. I was like, wait a second. It says 44. I thought I was just shy. So yeah, I have the start dash pack, which gives me a hundred bonus coins. Uh, I get the mirror mode unlocked right from the start, and I get um, some letterbox backgrounds. So that's cool, you know? That's cool. So I'm gonna close the eShop, and I'm gonna play through some Sonic Mania for a little bit. I'm planning on playing through Stardust Speedway, uh, Metallic Madness, and then some Mirror Mode in Sega Genesis Classics, just to kind of show off that, like what I'm looking forward to. So, hang on, I forgot to turn the Super Peel out on. Um, I'm mainly playing through the CD levels with the you know Super Peel out on, just because. I never played Sonic CD before, so I'm mainly doing this just so I can, like, kind of give you guys a preview of what to expect from the Let's Play, you know? Like, obviously Stardust Speedway isn't going to be like this when I play Star I mean, uh, Sonic CD, you know, but, like... That camera shift was weird. Uh, but yeah, this is, I guess you can kind of consider this like a preview of my third Let's Play as well. Because for my third Let's Play, I'm actually going to be switching abilities in between levels depending on like what I'm about to play, you know? So if I'm playing through a level from Sonic 1 or 2, I'll have the drop dash on. The same thing with the Mania stages. If I'm playing through a level from Sonic CD like I am right now, I'll be you know, having the super peel out turned on. Oh wow, I was not expecting that piranha plant to, or muncher, I don't know what those things are called. Definitely not piranha plant, so that's what I call them, but. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out Sonic CD. I've heard some mixed opinions about that game. I heard it's kind of mid. Other people will say it's like one of the best Sonic games ever, which is surprising to hear that Sonic CD is so divisive, you know? And obviously since I'm going- oh, come on! Obviously since I'm going through Stardust Speedway right now, there's going to be a Metal Sonic fight. I'm um, in Act 2, you know? And unlike Sonic CD, where it's just a race to the finish, you're actually racing him in the, or fighting him in this game, I'm sorry.
I actually really like the Super Peel out. It's good for when you want to get some speed, you know? Oh, dang it. Get out of here, bro. The boss rush in Sonic Origins actually seems like it's going to be kind of brutal because you actually have to fight the bosses with no rings. I'm realizing it was out of focus that whole time. I'm sorry about that, guys. I mean, this isn't really one of, like, I'm not exactly taking this video too seriously, so if it's, like, out of focus or something, then what you gonna do? Actually, restart, restart. Because I do want to try to speed run, start a speed way. And the super peel out is honestly a godsend for this stage. Because you actually can only. God, I keep messing up the routing. Because you can actually get to Metal Sonic in under a minute in this stage if you know what you're doing, you know? Like, watch this. I meant to hold... Yeah, sometimes the game doesn't register when you're holding up or down, so you'll just, like, jump up in the air. And it's like, ah. Like, I hate when that happens. But I love the Super Peel Out. It's a great alternative to the Spin Dash, you know? And it's easier to do, too. Like, you don't have to mash the jump button. You can just hold up once you press the jump button, you know? Just zoom through here. Yeah, I'm not getting under a minute, but... Those armadillo enemies are a bit annoying, too. Hey, not under a minute, but close enough, right? I used to be so much better at this game than I actually am now. I like that little callback to Sonic CD where, like, you destroy the Metal Sonic projector and a bunch of animals come out. That's something that actually can happen in Sonic CD. And he's gonna try to use his maximum overdrive attack on me. That's not gonna work. I hate his spin dash. I, I hate Metal Sonic spin dash. It is so hard to dodge. That um, ring spark field is actually really easy to dodge. And check it out, it's a throwback to Sonic 2 on the Game Gear, even though I freaking hate that game. Uh, this is a really cool throwback, not gonna lie. Like, I thought this boss fight was actually really fun in that game. And speaking of throwbacks to other games, I'm about to fight the final boss from Knuckles Chaotix, which is really cool. I, I love Sonic Mania and how it acts like sort of like a remix of everything you know from classic Sonic, you know? Oh, I'm realizing I don't have the drop dash that's going to make this fight ten times harder. Because, yeah, this fight is a complete joke if you have the drop dash. Uh, because I don't, I am an idiot and I like to play with the super peel out. I tried to jump into him. Okay, yeah, that fight is hard, by the way. Uh, Giga, Me uh, Giga Metal Sonic is tough. Yeah, this is a really hard Metal Sonic fight. I can never really seem to get the timing down for the claws and stuff. And I'm out of rings already. 
This is also a throwback to the final boss in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Like, it looks like the fun. Oh, come on. Ah, I... Yeah, I, I hate Goga uh, Metal Sonic. I really died on him twice. That's the thing. Oh, you can still spin dash. It's just way harder to do. Okay, I'm going to rely more on the spin dash. It's just so hard to stop moving here. Yeah, that makes this fight so much easier. I am cheesing this to- oh, well, never mind, never mind. I proceed to get cheesed as I'm talking about how I'm cheesing him. Maybe I can hit him- why did that bomb just despawn? Okay, that was cool. And also, I don't know why Sonic randomly looked up. I might have to get a new controller, not gonna lie. Imagine if you could actually collect the Phantom Ruby right there. I wonder what that would do. All right, anyways, next up, I'm gonna be playing through Metallic Madness. I uh, still playing with CD Sonic. See, you can't do that with the spin dash. I'm really looking forward to trying out Sonic CD, not gonna lie, and seeing like the original version of this in Stardust Speedway. Cause yeah, Metallic Madness is actually my favorite zone in this game. Even though this level can be crazy hard sometimes. Especially if you're playing this in Encore mode. In Encore mode, Here's the thing, guys. You might be wondering, well, what's taking so long for you to upload um, Encore mode for the Mania Let's Play that you're doing? Well, I kind of accidentally deleted that video. So now I have to start all over again. And yeah, I have to basically play up to that point and make it seem like, you know... It's going to be hard, I'm just saying, you know, because I have to, re I basically have to record Encore mode, but I have to play up to that point again, if that makes sense, because I accidentally deleted the video when I was trying to clean out my phone so I could get more storage on it for like, here's the thing, with Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I was going to have, okay, so I was recording that game, right, and... I tried to split it into two because I had to take a break mid-recording, but, and I was just going to put them both into an iMovie file and then, you know, just have them both like that, you know. Here's the thing, though. My phone is really freaking weird because the file size on that is just massive. I think I need, like, 13.2 gigs for it. And here's the thing. For some reason, my phone, every time I try to get, like, more storage on it, it just has less and less every single time when I'm not even adding stuff to it. Like, does anyone know what that, what that's all about? Because, like, I'll be deleting files, right? And every time I go to upload, you know, something from my movie to my camera roll, it'll be like, yeah, you need this amount, and then I notice the amount I have it keeps getting smaller and smaller and it's freaking annoying oh and also by the way the background here uh, this actually got the color palette from the good future of metallic madness which is a detail that not a lot of people bring up oh and also sonic one final boss uh, Son sonic one called it wants his final boss back i like how those actually home in on you in this game so they did attempt to make a harder version of the uh, Sonic 1 final boss, but I think this is a lot easier than Sonic 1, to be honest, because Eggman never seems to do the two, like, um, pistons in the middle anymore. 
And then that part just goes down in four hits instead of eight. And then this pinch mode is just really predictable because every fourth piston is gonna have Eggman in it. So if you just count to four, you'll know exactly which one he's gonna be in. See, that's easy. I was about to spin dash, but then I remembered, oh wait, I have the super peel out. That's gonna look a lot flashier. Even though I consider the super peel out to be, well, really, I think every one of Sonic's abilities really have different uses to them, you know? I think the super peel out is better for like speed running, you know? The drop dash is also a good speed running tool. I'd say that's more for like, I'd say this uh, peel out is like the most risk, most reward type of move, you know? The drop dash is also a pretty good speed running tool because you can kind of spam it as many times as you want. But then, you know, the insta shield, unlike the other two abilities, it's not really, why did I get knocked back so far just now? But this, uh, the Insta Shield, unlike the other two abilities, the Drop Dash and the Peel Out, um, it's not really focused, like, it's not based around speed. It's more of an offensive tool, you know? Like, you're supposed to use the Insta Shield as, like, an extended hitbox, pretty much. Why did I jump? I was trying to charge up a Spin Dash there. I wonder what the peel out looks like as mini Sonic. Okay, that is just adorable. But right now I'd say I have a really speed based Sonic because I have the flame shield, which I think that's the best like elemental shield in terms of speed. And I have the super peel out with it. Yeah, that's the one thing with the super peel out. That's the advantage it has over the other two abilities. Even though I consider the peel out to be not necessarily the worst ability, but the definitely the hardest one to use is when you have an, an elemental shield with um, the peel out enabled, you can still use the super peel out, which is something that you can't do with the uh, Insta Shield and the Drop Dash, you know, because those get overridden by the um, Elemental Shields, you know. I did not want that blue shield. And then I just lose it anyways. Are you serious, game? Now I'm just getting trolled. Okay, I don't know why I just snapped to the ground like that. What is up here? Okay, I don't think I've taken this top path before. Oh yeah, and that peel out jump is insane. You can get so much distance with that. Also, these enemies carry spikes in this game. I don't know if they did that in Sonic CD. I'd have to play that game to find out or watch somebody else play it on here, um, on YouTube, you know? But, I don't, I don't think they carry spikes in Sonic CD. Also, freaking buzz saws when I'm tidy Sonic, you know? And I messed up that speed section, oh well. I actually really like this boss, because it's like, multiple bosses combined in the one, you know? You got the boss fight from Emerald Hill Zone, you got... Let's see, uh, the Marble Zone boss. I am gonna get a horrible cool bonus. You got Amy Rose, who acts like she did in Sonic CD, but if she grabs onto you, then that's not good. Unlike Sonic CD, where she would just keep you in place. In this game, she'll keep you in place, but then she'll also blow up so yeah, definitely you don't, oh, oh my god, the Emerald Hill boss. Oh, I forgot, I don't have the drop dash. I tried to use the drop dash just now, and it's Amy. Okay, that was weird. 
Why is Eggman going so fast? Alright, anyways, watch where the rubble is dropping. Um, for this part right here, just stay where all the bolts and stuff are dropping and you'll be fine. He won't be able to hurt you as long as you're like overlapping with the debris he's dropping, you know? And now I'm going to be switching over to Sega Genesis Classics because I'm going to be doing a bit of mirror mode for Sonic 1 and 2, you know? Uh, it's not going to be too long, it's probably just going to be one stage for both games, just kind of give a preview. Because again, I am going to be doing second runs of Sonic 1 and 2, uh, but in mirror mode. I decided it's going to be mirror mode and not the... Um, what is it, the mobile remakes, just because, like, I want to save the mobile remakes for when I play Sonic Origins, you know? So before I go into that, I'm gonna go ahead and enable mirror mode, and we're good. Okay, that is trippy already. Jeez. Even the text is mirrored. That's the one thing I like about Sonic Origins Mirror Mode more than this, is that everything, like, only the levels get mirrored, you know, not, uh, not, like, the text and, and everything else, you know? So yeah, this is gonna be part of Sonic Origins, but better. You know, because the text and everything doesn't get mirrored. Like, in this case, they just flip the display and also adjust your controls. Like, they they also reverse your controls to match, you know, mirror mode. And I know I'm playing a lot worse, but that's because everything is flipped. I can't... I can't... Oh my god, I almost died. I forgot about that glitch in this game. Uh, basically, if you go too fast down those S-tubes, the bottom of the screen becomes a kill plane. And, you know, you fall into that, you die. Alright, so now I'm going to be playing Mirror Mode in Sonic 2. And, oh man, this... If you guys want me to do full Let's Plays of Mirror Mode in Sonic Origins as well, let me know and I can definitely arrange that. Oh my god, I hate this. I, I hate this. Sonic Alone, let's go. Oh, I don't... Wait, I never played this game in Mirror Mode. I played Sonic 1 in Mirror Mode before, but not this game, so it's gonna be a lot trippier. Because Sonic 1, since I already beat that game in Mirror Mode, like, I'm kind of used to it already, but this game is just trippy like this. Because I've never seen this before, like... It's almost like playing a new game entirely. And you can also upscale the graphics, which actually looks really nice. The super peel out would have been perfect for that part, and jump. Yeah, mirror mode is just such a mind-blowing concept to me because, like, it's like you're playing a new game entirely, like, it's like a new set of levels when it's really not, you know? Uh, but anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. I know it was a bit shorter than usual. I mainly wanted to show off pre-ordering Sonic Origins, but I figured, hey, I might as well, like, play a little bit of it. Well, not Origins, but, like, just show off a little bit of what to expect from it. Actually, wait, no, no, I'm not going to end it here because might as well uh, play the Sega Ages ports as well just because, you know, mission mode. And these games kind of have a mission mode. So I'm going to be playing through the quote-unquote mission modes for these games, and then I guess I'll call it there. So, Green Hill Act 1 Time Attack, let's do it. And again, I've done these multiple times, 
I don't know why the spin dash is like this sometimes. I don't know why it, like you have to wait a second for the game to register the fact that you're holding down, you know? Oh, right, I forgot there's spikes there instead of... Okay, 26 seconds, not bad. It's under 30, so... It could be worse. I mean, it could be better, but it could be a lot worse. And next up, I'm going to be playing through um, the 100 ring challenge for Sonic 2. I'm going to use Sonic and Knuckles. It's funny because I think every mission in Sonic Origins, I think you're going to... I think they're all going to be for different characters. Like, I think I saw a mission for Tails. There's a mission for Super Sonic, which is pretty cool. Oh, Tails even took out that Coconuts enemy for me. Nobody saw that. This is actually a really difficult mission because, like, you have to really balance out, like, rings and speed, you know? Because you focus too much on rings, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be going really slow. And if you focus too much on speed, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of rings, which is not good because that's the entire point of this challenge, you know? So you really want to find a bit of a middle ground here. My personal goal whenever I play through this is to get under a minute. Because normally when I play through, oh, 45 seconds flat. That was crazy. Because usually when I play through Emerald Hill 1, I try to get under 30 seconds. But since this is a lot harder than, you know, just playing normally, because obviously I have a ring requirement as well, I try to get under a minute, which I think that's a pretty good time to aim for, you know? And then Knuckles is a bit... Okay, yeah, let's, let's start over. You definitely do not want to lose your rings, because... If you lose your rings in this challenge, whatever rings you've collected before, those don't count anymore. Like, if that ring the total goes back to zero, it doesn't matter how many you collected before. The game is going to be like, you didn't have a hundred rings when you passed to the goal, therefore you lose, you know? Because if you try to go past the goal plate with just, you know, like with under 100 rings, you lose the challenge. Like, the game's like, you know, you just get a fail. Like, it's not even like the game's like, oh, well, just go back and get more rings, you know? Nah. You need to have 100 or more. If you pass that signpost with less than 100, you fail. In fact, before I, I, I'm actually gonna show off, like, failing the challenge, you know, I'm gonna show that off. So yeah, I'm gonna fail on purpose, like, I'm gonna just blaze through the stage. Like, see, notice how I'm not really picking up that many rings right now. Okay, that was weird. Okay, that was weird. See, look at this. Fail. What, what else can I say? Yeah, that's what happens when you don't get enough rings. Um... I'm gonna try one more just because I'm gonna try to recreate a mission I saw that looks pretty interesting where you're supersonic 
in, I think it was Metropolis Zone Act 2, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember which act of Metropolis it was, but I'm going to try to recreate what I saw. So Metropolis Act 2 and just Supersonic. I'm going to try to get to the end of this stage with Supersonic, you know. So I'm going to recreate that challenge I saw. And I'm going to try to go for over 50 rings. That's going to be my goal here. Yep, so I'm absolutely slaying so far. Okay, yep, I think this is the part of the challenge I saw. Yep, this is the part right here where the challenge actually starts in Origins. So yeah, you might recognize this part from that little gameplay reveal they did. Uh, this is actually one of the missions in Sonic Origins. Like, I'm playing one of the missions from that game right now. And it's not as easy as it looks. Well, actually, nah, it's pretty easy. Okay, hopefully I can finish this with a good amount of rings. Because Supersonic is kind of hard to control, so like these small platforms are kind of his weakness. Well, honestly, I think platforming in general might be Supersonic's weakness, but 67 rings. I don't know what kind of rank that would have been in Sonic Origins, but not bad. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to end it here for real this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this premiere I did. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff cheesy youtuber outro i feel like i've said this a million times and um you know future me left a link in the chat to go raid this person hashtag ultra raid let's be real though you guys don't really go on raids anymore it's always just me and it's really freaking annoying um but if you guys decide to go on this raid then yeah go raid this person and it's your boy signing off. Peace. Take care, everyone. And yeah, um, I'll definitely make an update video a week from now when Sonic Origins actually pops up on my Switch. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's your boy signing off. Peace. Take care, everyone.